Hi there, everyone. Good morning and beautiful Sunday that we step into the first Sunday of the new year. And you might be feeling a refreshed sense of energy. For the more sensitive, you might just be feeling excited and optimistic and looking forward to something for no reason at all. The no reason is just pouring down from the heavens as golden and rainbow, sparkling rays of light are falling upon the earth through the hands of the angels since dawn to just help to expand you. Now, what does that mean? What does expansion really mean? It sounds very esoteric, right? Expansion basically means to help you receive more of what is due to you and to help you enjoy more of what you're meant to enjoy in your everyday life so that struggles get reduced and accomplishments, receiving, manifestation, healing, that becomes more of a part of your daily life. Faith. Faith is restored then. Of course, faith is restored. And this day, you're going to just decide for yourself as you step further and further into this new year, what does not work for you anymore? What does not serve you anymore? A new definition of self means that, right? That you're not going to take the old with you anymore. And of course, the divine ones always want to help you feel the sense of accomplishment and to help you feel powerful, divine, loved, nurtured through all of this to make your choices, to never stop feeling. And what does never stop feeling also mean? Because you're always feeling, right? How can you stop your feelings from coming? Feeling means as an enjoyment, enjoying more of your experiences rather than resurrecting of fears and healing of pain all the time. Having more of a sense of accomplishment gives you that automatically. So the divine ones, of course, always present themselves in a form that you can lean in on, get supported by, and feel a sense of empowerment once again. And this day, it comes to the Hindu religion and the concept of creator, preserver, and destroyer. And this day, it is Lord Shiva who comes forward for all of the earth. Just looking into his eyes, you feel Divine Father's canopy upon you. So wherever you are, whatever you think you've done, Leave that behind. That's the old you. You are now stepping into a brand new version, an expression of yourself. Take a deep breath in. And that vibration, that excitement that you've been feeling is nothing but you becoming one with your divine nature and you becoming one with literally the voice of the universe. There are literally thousands and thousands and legions of angels singing this day. And you're connecting with them. So trust that. You're not just imagining things. This sense of empowerment is coming to remind you, to help you, and to remold you, you can say. You're being refashioned again and honoring your inner force. Because if you see the card, it's given such specific steps, it's very easy to follow. Steps are being given. So how much more obvious can it be? So as you look into his eyes, then you notice all the symbols. There are so many things waiting for you to claim and use and enjoy and understand. And rise up to the wisdom within you, your own self. 
that you've denied all this time. I'm just ordinary. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a healer. I'm not anything. Look at his hand, first of all, and merge your own hand with that. Lord Shivji, I ask for a sense of transcendence within. Within what? Whatever. A situation, a chakra point, a feeling, a manifestation, a prayer, something you're trying to understand, something you're trying to create or recreate. Lord Shivji, I ask for a sense of transcendence within. I'll be quiet for a moment to give you a chance to decide what you're transcending within and above and into. If it's a new pathway you want to walk, it's all open to you. And for that sense of protection, look at all that he's wearing around his neck and both of his wrists and arms. You're protected in every way that you engage in physical activity or any form of verbal expression this day. Just look at this bracelet of protection from Lord Shivji, help me with. Help me feel protected. Or protect, you want to send this across to a situation, to a place, a person, an activity you're engaging in, the day you're walking into. There'll be bands and bands of protection coming around. And Archangel Michael also is part of this process. So you can go ahead and merge all the realms of heaven in your favor. You're not doing anything incorrect by doing that. You're bringing more of a chance of the heavenly forces to help you. And then look back into his eyes once again. If again you lack motivation or you get tired or you're questioning yourself, let the questions arise. That's okay. They're meant to this day more than ever because you're rising up and honoring your true divine nature. Now behind him, it seems to be a complicated mandala full of design and what is it, what does it mean for me? Basically, this is you working with Archangel Raziel this time and Shivji to remove all karmic baggage, whatever you carried into this present moment from your past that does not serve you anymore, whatever it is that you want to create for your future, how you want a sense of fulfillment and peace within this moment, this is basically the mandala of your Akashic records. So you don't even have to know what the records say if you've never even read them before. Lord Shivji, help me transcend all my fears regarding. And I throw them into this orb of transcendence and now transmute and change that back into light. I am that I am. I'm light and love I'm protected, I'm free. Just remember that. All else will align back into that. If you see, every line is aligning with the next one next to it, right? Making a beautiful design. If you just remain calm and peaceful and just trust that you're receiving true divine guidance, that you're not making it up this day, the more you trust your intuitive senses, don't even question how it's coming. If you're a person who's always visual and you receive it through feeling this day, trust that because heart energy is very, very strong right now. And if you are a person who's usually receiving through feeling, 
But this day it's coming through thought. And trust that. That's your transcendence. That's how you're rising. You're growing into embracing of all of your faculties and trusting that you've received them. That's why he has his hand up, giving that ability to you and helping you merge with all the faculties and instruments of the universe easily. Whatever form of prayer and ritual you want to engage in, go ahead and do that this day. It's a day usually put aside for family and rest and relaxation and rejuvenation. That's exactly more than ever what the Divine Ones want you to do. Rejuvenate. What does not work for you, just throw it away. What form of perception you have towards the world, change it. Everything in the universe is supporting you. And how do you change it? If you see he has a huge instrument of light that is very much connected with him in all of mythology and prayer and in the holy books, it's spoken about the trishul, the sword, the trident. With the three faces, you can say, a creator, preserver, and destroyer right there in front of you. And he will hold it up. And Archangel Michael will help you also with the sword of light to cut away whatever you don't want to carry forward anymore. And if you see how this trident is going up, it's going right into his throat, right? So it seems like it would harm the throat. No, it's not harming the throat. It's basically protecting your solar plexus, your door of power, you can say. That is why it's these words become more potent than and make more sense. Rise up, honor your inner force, and if you just patiently listen, the steps to go forward will be given therapy, however you seek it, as angel therapy, as meditation, as prayer, as ritual, burning of a candle, speaking to the deities that you believe in, the traditions that you follow, they'll have more meaning this day. So those steps are being given. And what does dance with the universe really mean? Dance with the universe basically means just Just follow the rhythms of the planet, you can say. Literally take breaths and whatever you perceive the day to be as. Don't listen to any other reader but your own self. In whatever form of reading you have, what is this day trying to teach us as mankind? What what conclusion do you come to? You might have a very different perception and say, well, I never realized I could teach teach and learn about herbs. I got an understanding through the flowers. I got an understanding through the sky. Or numbers, all of a sudden they seem fascinating to you. That's because that's how you're growing. That's how you're dancing with the universe. That's how you're discovering what potential is lying there within you that you're not even aware of as of now. And if you see his third eye, why are there so many lines to the left and right side of it? Basically, whatever you envision, see yourself as succeeding. Your probable future, it's happening, it's reality. Feel it, enjoy it, live it through your visual faculties now. And if you're a person who's afraid always of visualizing that I I can't see symbols and I have a problem with colors, then this day, choose to focus on just on this image. Close your eyes for a moment and ask your third eye to be opened, literally to be opened. And you can take then your dominant hand, close your palm for a moment, and then open your palm again 
right above your third eye. I am that I am. And I'm divinely perfect in all ways. I'm open and receptive to the light. Now, I have said a lot. You don't have to say all of that. Just even if you open your hand above your third eye, take a deep breath in and focus on something or someone or a deity, then you'll be happy. Make this a fun exercise for yourself. Maybe one symbol, one color, one flower, one ascended master, a goddess, maybe an elemental. However you do this for yourself. So it's not maybe esoteric, but tangible. And you can recognize it and say, yes, I remember that. And don't just think you're just remembering and that you're visualizing just from that remembering. Then do the creative activities for yourself. Slowly, slowly. Creative activities for a small, maybe pen, (laughs) that you want to find. Maybe a letter you have to write and see it as complete. Then you can go on to the long-term projects, the long-term things you want to bring into effect and keep on looking at Lord Shivji's third eye benefiting you and feel that vibration in your own third eye. You're supported, you're protected, you're safe. You will not go wrong. You'll only enhance and get better and better at what you're doing. And now you might say, why does he have so much hair going all over the place? This hair is basically You finding your focus no matter what. And the left side, consider that all the baggage that you've carried for too long, getting transmuted, getting changed, finding new definition now. You only hold on to the memories, to what worked for you and what did not work for you. Discover why it did not work for you and heal it, change it. And try that project or song or whatever it is, right? Again, however you want to put it, your heart will know. So just relax. Flow with the universe. Let the baggage go because Shivji, Lord Shivji is supreme, is supremely powerful in removing karmic baggage. And you don't have to think about long definitions or understanding of it. I just want to remove the heaviness that's on my back. Maybe you have health concerns related to the same. Whatever reasons these health concerns emerge within my body, let that also be relaxed, healed, cleared, balanced and the lesson of course will come forward and manifestation keep your heart open on your heart's desire and just keep on looking at the other side of his hair then where you're then releasing and surrendering your dream to have a new form of walking towards manifestation. And you might be given activities, something to do, to be aware of. Just trust that again. Now you might say, what is a snake? Isn't a snake supposed to be dangerous? This snake is basically helping all forms of negativity whether internal or external, again, to be transmuted and changed. You're protected from all that is harmful to you, whether you invited it or did not invite it, whether you created it or it unknowingly emerged. Don't think about where it emerged from. It's just not suitable to you right now. It's harmful, harmful energy. Let it go. And... The huge square behind him 
is a protective space of the four directions of the universe. You're in, literally, inside the hands of all the divine ones in the canopy and care and nurturing of each realm of heaven. Just believe. Just keep moving, keep rising, keep asking, keep doing. That's it. And just rise up and honor your inner force. You're on your way to victory. Steps are going to be given to you. And also, in the notes section, you will get a simple mantra to please and work with Lord Shivji. So start this week being a different version of you. And that is possible every day. But why not start it this day, this moment, right here, right now? And this comes to us so superbly from The Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the holy and beautiful way that Lord Shivji, in all of his glory, is showcased to us here in this painting, comes to us to the art of Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at lilymoses.com. This is Tina signing off for now. So enjoy this day. Rise up and remember more and more of who, who you are and push aside all obstacles and reasons to complain and to feel a sense of lack. That is your past. You're coming more and more into happiness and fulfillment. So bye for now.